more tales of Tesla range anxiety. Here we go. So the short version goes like this. I left Strathmore, Alberta a few hours ago after filling up with the supercharger there right to the brim, which is uh, 340k, something like that, in my Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. And I drove to Lethbridge, which is less than 200 kilometers away. And Lethbridge, for some bizarre reason, does not have a supercharger or really any meaningful chargers. So I went to a charger from flow.ca and flow.com, which charged at about um, 210 volts. And I got an extra 10 Ks. That pulled me up from 60 kilometers to 70 kilometers. Then I left Lethbridge with that 70 kilometers. And I am driving right now to the nearest supercharger, uh, which is at Fort McLeod, Alberta. Little tiny town, middle of nowhere, nice little place. But you can see here that I have 15 kilometers of range left, it says. And I have 13 kilometers of driving left. We'd like to interject for just 10 seconds to ask you to click like if this is the kind of thing that you like. It really helps us with the Google algorithm. And if you're interested in electric vehicles, the energy industry, high technology, things like that, please click subscribe because that's the kind of thing we talk about. Thanks, back to the show. And at the rate that I'm getting, which is about 60% battery, 65% battery, uh, I will be well into the uh, extra reserve charge that the battery has which under ideal conditions is about 20 kilometers. In these conditions I'm expecting is 10 or 12. And I'm very sure I'll be using a few of those. You can see the warnings that have come up, which is the charger needed to reach destination. So that's super helpful. Uh, I've turned the heated seats off, uh, which I had off in the entire drive, by the way, uh, down from uh, Strathmore to Lethbridge. And I noticed a few minutes ago that the car's ventilation system uh, turned off it's getting colder in here and the windows periodically get fogged up and then it it does seem to be smart enough to clear them um, so really that's where it is we're going to speed this up and I'll show you what happens when I get to our friends at the supercharger station in Fort McLeod oh something else I should mention is I'm at 110 uh, kilometer an hour zone and I'm driving uh, 90. Coming down from Strathmore to Lethbridge I was driving at the speed limit the entire way and for the first part of the second leg from Lethbridge to get to the supercharger which by the way is a solid 20 minutes uh, uh, 20 sorry solid 25 minutes out of my way uh, I was driving at 95 in the 110 zone uh, and then I started getting even more worried and dropped it down to 90. So you can see now I've got 10 kilometers of battery left, it says, right here. And I've got 9.6 kilometers of actual driving to do. Yeah, this is going to get hairy. This will be, well, let's see, I've owned this now since uh, July, so let's call it... Uh, uh, eight months and this will be at least the sixth time that I have been running on electron fumes in other words into the reserve and I gave up driving this on any sort of distance some time ago when it became apparent that the Tesla uh, mileage range estimate is it's not just fiction uh, it is, uh, it's, it's almost malicious how bad it is and how wrong it is. So we have a video of uh, me driving in extreme cold, that I get, where my 402 kilometer battery that only charges to 340, 350 uh, now, so I don't know what that's about, but uh, Tesla, I've taken it in for service, tells me that that's exactly what it should be getting. Uh, at any rate, uh, I'm able to get 151 kilometers out of a full tank of electrons in extreme cold. Now my friends with uh, gas vehicles tell me that they're getting 
about 30% worse gas mileage than they normally do in that extreme cold. Uh, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner so you can watch the video that I produced on it. Uh, but in, uh, instead of getting one third less, I'm getting two thirds less with, uh, with mine. Now, I, I don't really care because I typically drive this car about 22 kilometers to work and then 22 kilometers back. So I just, it's fine. But it annoys me to no end that Tesla continues this over-promise, under-deliver mentality. It's very frustrating. So let's see where we are now. 5Ks of battery, and I've got 6.6Ks .6 of driving to do. And you can see off in the distance, let's change the focus, that is Fort McLeod. So I'm gonna make it because of the reserve, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. It's letting me down again. And as I said, to get to Port McLeod, because there are so few superchargers around, uh, it is, like I said, it's, it's a solid 25 minutes out of my way, uh, especially at this speed. All right, so let's keep recording, see what happens. I'm now driving 80, in a, 80 kilometers an hour in a 110 zone. It's not exactly safe, but it's what it is. As far as temperature goes, by the way, it's only minus two Celsius, which is about, um, Oh, 28 Fahrenheit for our American and well, people in other parts of the world that still deal with Fahrenheit. Zero kilometers, and I still have four kilometers to go. Well, sorry, 3.3 kilometers to go. Well, at least they've added lights. The last time I was here, either the lights, which by the way was largely for the same reason, Either the lights weren't working or they weren't here. I was in the dark at this time of night. My battery's low. Wow, that's super useful to know. Thanks. So as you can see, I've got it plugged in and charging now, and it's just been charging for a few minutes. Uh, but the most notable thing about that is the Fort McLeod station, I believe is the uh, Gen 3 supercharging stations. And you can see right there, that this is charging at a thousand kilometers per hour, which means uh, it's going to take 35 minutes to take my, well, in theory, uh, 402 kilometer battery that actually won't charge beyond 340, 350. It will charge that completely in just 30 minutes, or sorry, in just 40 minutes. Very impressive. So you can chalk that one up for Tesla. That's amazing. If you have any uh, questions about this or thoughts on this, please put them in the comment section below. Uh, also, you can always get a hold of us at www.partisanissues.com. If you found this video useful or interesting, either way, please click like. It really helps with the Google algorithm. Uh, and if this is the kind of thing you like, uh, please click subscribe. We spend a lot of time at Partisan Issues on uh, things like this, electric vehicles, on high technology, and on the energy industry.